So here's the challenge I'm having. I recently picked up, yes, another computer. I know I'm trying not to. I want to get rid of the stuff. I want to do the things with the stuff, not just accumulate more stuff. But I did. I accumulated more stuff. Now, at the recycler, they did have it working. They posted pictures of it. It's a Dell T3600. They posted pictures of it working, and I got it home, and I got it set up, and, uh, well, it's not working. I can't get it to post. But, I did go online, and I did find some other, uh, I think it was an engineering company a few years ago, that had an issue with their 3600, where it did this exactly what mine's doing. They called Dell, because they were still under warranty. It was less than a year old at the time. Dell came out and uh, changed the main board, and the problem persisted. It turned out to be bad memory. So let's try that. Try swap, switching memory out and see. I believe I've got some other sticks. Um, we'll drop it down to a single stick and see if we can get it to post. So, of course, I already pulled the the heatsink off the processor because I thought, well, maybe things aren't quite seated right. And now I'm realizing I don't have my rags are here with me to clean off the paste. The paste is all dried out, so uh, there's that. So I'll clean that up. I'll remount. I'll remount the uh, the heatsink. I'll pull all the memory out. I'll make sure it's in slot 1 or A or whatever it is. The manual actually said that your board might be numbered one way or another way and then it never did show what sequence. So I'll pick one of the slots and just keep moving it and see if I can get it to post. Um, I just realized I don't have a holder for my phone to take the video with me and I leaned it up against the heatsink itself. So it's going to be hard to film that when I have to move the heatsink. So I also have to go inside, um, get the cleaning materials, uh, get the heat paste, because I don't have any out here, I don't think. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back. All right, so I found my holder, found my other bits and pieces, and I'm going to clean this up and then reseat the memory and see if we can get her to fire up. All right, let's do that. All right, so I got it to boot, I got it to post, I had to switch memory modules, um, had to look up on the other server here, go online, look up what the error codes meant. I was getting a 4 and a 3, which could have meant a CPU failure, which would have been awful, um, but it also was, it was 3 and 4 together, which tended to indicate uh, memory, which was nice. So. I drop to the one and it posts. So now I'm just going to fiddle with that till I can get uh, as much memory working as possible. Yeah. Woo. There we go. Oof. We got it to start installing. At first it didn't recognize the drives, but I have a suspicion that the uh, SATA cables got mixed up, because the two I had connected there are actually connected to a one called Service, and the other one called Hard Drive 1, it looks like. So I would have thought one of them would have been recognizable, but... So instead I've moved them over to SATA 0 and SATA 1, and uh, 
it saw both drives, though it didn't find anything bootable. Um, one drive appears to be already set up. It has a system partition, it has, has all kinds of things, which is really confusing. Because I know it, it, these should all be uh, drives that are already empty. I'm sure you won't zoom back out. There you go. So that's doing its thing. Yahoo. So it's not the fastest machine by today's standards by any stretch of the imagination. It's only 3.6 gigahertz. But that's 0.6 gigahertz faster than what I got going inside. It also has less memory. Um, it's also a, what is it, 1620, E5 1620 processor. So it's four core, 32 gigs of RAM on buffered RAM. And uh, yeah, a little bit smaller of a case than the current one I'm using. Now the only thing is, I need to get a Dell cable to connect to there to get power for a graphics card. Right now it's got a Quadro 2000, which isn't the greatest. But uh, yeah, we're actually having progress. We got her to boot. And we'll get... Uh, Get Windows installed on the SSD. And we can have a look at what else we can do.